This video demonstrates how a Palo Alto Networks firewall can be bypassed using cache poisoning. In Palo Alto's design, once a connection is established, then inspection stops. Subsequent connections are allowed by an application cache entry, accelerating the connection. This is great for Palo Alto Networks performance, but hackers can use this default feature to bypass Palo Alto Networks application control by using what's allowed by the policy and then substituting a different application that is supposed to be blocked. Instead of being blocked, the connection is allowed. Let's see this in action. Our test box is a Palo Alto 2020 appliance installed with the latest version of Pan OS 5.0.0. We have a very simple policy installed that is comprised of three rules. The first rule blocks access to Facebook from our internal protected network. Here you see, this is the Palo Alto Network's Facebook application signature. The second rule allows any traffic from our internal protected network. The third rule is a cleanup rule that blocks any other connections. In summary, our security policy specifically blocks Facebook and allows outbound connections from our protected network. Now let's test the policy. To show that it is active, we open a browser and try to access Facebook through the Palo Alto firewall. As you can see, it is identified correctly as the Facebook application and is blocked. Here we see the Palo Alto block page. All is fine and good. Our policy is in place and we are protected. Is this correct? Let's see if we can demonstrate the application cache poisoning bypass that was first demonstrated by Brad Woodberg two years ago in the latest version of Pan OS 5.0. To test this, we will use Netcat, a very simple tool that's publicly available to create SIP connections using TCP. SIP is a protocol used in voice over IP applications. Netcat will read from this file to create a very simple SIP request to Facebook where the method is register and the SIP protocol is version 2.0. We'll send multiple SIP requests to Facebook, which is allowed by Rule 2 of our security policy. By design, the Palo Alto firewall caches the connections in an app ID cache. In order to see this, we'll use the Palo Alto CLI command, show running application cache. Let's begin our demo by sending SIP connections to Facebook. As this runs, let's check the app ID cache. We can see that Palo Alto identifies the connection as SIP and has created a cache entry. When we check the app ID cache, we see there are a lot of hits on the cache above the threshold of 16. The Palo Alto firewall is now making security decisions based upon this cache entry. Connections to Facebook on port 443 that match will be allowed. Now the Palo Alto firewall has stopped inspecting for applications. The connection does not match rule one of the security policy. There is no block page and the connection is allowed by the app ID cache entry. The Palo Alto firewall security policy has been bypassed. Let's verify that the Palo Alto firewall indeed categorizes this connection as SIP by looking at the CLI command, show session all, and by looking at the Palo Alto logs. Here you see in the CLI, the flows are identified as SIP, and in the log viewer, you also see the connections are all identified as the SIP application. Not only has the Palo Alto firewall been bypassed, but administrators won't know that their PAN firewall has been bypassed.